So I just finished doing this uh, quilt. It's the first that I did and I wanted to share with you guys how to do a similar one um, and I want to also share the, the problems I had. Uh, um, but to, to start with, I want to show you what you need to, to make such a quilt. So this one uh, is eight squares by eight um, and each square is about 15 centimeters, which is about two millimeters short of six inches. The pieces, they, they look like this. Um, and I had all together um, 17 different fabrics. And I just, um, I made, first I, I laid all of the uh, pieces on the table and kind of looked at none of the pieces are next to each other and it looks symmetrical. And just make sure that when you you put it together that all the pieces are the same way around or I wanted it to be like that so that it looks better. So like all these bunnies are upright compared to those zebras and so on. Um, and to, to do it, you first do eight stripes of eight. So I, I did it, uh, so this stripe, that stripe, this stripe and so on. And then when I have eight stripes of eight, then I started putting them together. And while I was doing this, I realized that it is very important that the, the squares so here, that this square, that when you cut it, it is really 15 centimeters. Uh, because if it, if it even, if it's even uh, two millimeters bigger or smaller, you have problems later on when you put pieces together and um, to have it really 15 centimeters or six inches um, you um, shouldn't put too many pieces on top of each other when you got it so I, I would just cut two pieces maximum together and it, it's more work but then at the end you will have more symmetrical quilt um, what i'm meaning here here you see an example so here um, you see there is a uh, um, couple of millimeters jump because I did this uh, stripe and this stripe but here I put them together afterwards and this I couldn't avoid this um, then anymore at this point I have a couple of these spots because I realized it's too late um, so when I had the, the um, quilt together um, then I, I needed um, to, to make it a bit buffier, I needed this kind of uh, polyester feeling. This is the same feeling that you have, you can put in um, pillows. This is 100 um, grams per square meter. So it's not very thick, it's quite thin, but as a, as a blanket, I, I found it was, was ni nice to have... Um, this thinner fabric and um, on, on top of that you obviously need a sewing machine then you need those needles and another needle to finish it off that looks like like this um, and then you also need a back fabric so my back fabric looks like this and what I also had was another back fabric. I just used old sheet that I had because I wanted to stitch all the quilts together um, so that it, it keeps this uh, filling together nicely. So I just didn't want to put it inside without actually stitching it. So if you wash it, uh, this doesn't, this doesn't like, uh, like wrinkle inside. So you can see here in between every single piece, I have stitched it together. And the back fabric when I did that stitching was that old sheet. Um, and I did it because I didn't want the back fabric to have the kilt. I wanted the back fabric to be straight and only the front to have the, the actual um, shape of the squares. Um, so on top of so um, so that you need so two fa back fabrics and this back fabric um, is 110 centimeters, 
which let's measure measure how much that is is in inches i think it's about 40. sorry about this it's just it's all the ones who are using the inches are so yeah it's it's about 40 and a half, 40 and a half inches. And when I'm, when I sew this, when I was sewing these pieces together, I made sure that I have one centimeter um, uh, space here. Um, so that is about that much. And in my sewing machine, I have a, I have a, line there showing where this one centimeter is so I was all the time following that line and that made it way easier so just I'm I'm pretty sure all your sewing machines have also this line here to to show you and that is also very important because um, then it stays symmetrical if you have the same um, allowance the seam allowance and then you also don't up, end up in having such mistakes um, and then to to make make sure that you have enough um, of the back fabric i i got one meter and 20 uh, centimeters of back fabric and i ended up using 110 so, um, and all together this is 105, so I used uh, 5 centimeters for the, the seam allowance. And I wanted to make sure that I have plenty because um, I wasn't sure if I actually used the, the 1 centimeter seam allowance in, in all the spaces, so this is my takeaway. So anyway, 110 centimeters of back fabric and I, I used quite a lot of those needles to needle it together so that I get an even um, even seam here. And to, to do the edges here, I, I used a technique like this because I wanted it to be I wanted it to be round rather than than there is like a, a spike here. And I will show you how to do this. I have. Have it, I've, I did it here on this one, so it looks like that. And then um, I'll, I'll take it apart to show how, how I did it inside, but just I'll show here first. So I was stitching first here with the, with the machine. I only had uh, like two millimeter seam allowance here, so that it was really on the edge, as, as you can see, it's one or two millimeters. Um, and then this this bit here, you see, there is a little there is a little hole here. Uh, afterwards, after you have done this seam, this hole will stay. What I did is that I manually closed it. So I used this needle that I showed you earlier. I used this one to to uh, close that gap. It was really um, easy, easy. To do. So I, I'll take this apart and I'll show you how I how I did it. Just a second. So so this is how how it looks like. So I I just I just. Uh, Put that at the inside like that and then again and then just turn it here as well and inside and I made sure that this this match so that it doesn't go like higher up or lower so I just made sure that it comes together it's really not very difficult but this is how it it looks like on the inside I just this you turn twice and turn over and here you also you turn twice 
and over. So, so that's about it. Um, it was quite time consuming, time um, consuming project, but I really enjoyed doing this, especially. Um, and I know this um, this comes to my friend's baby, and I really had fun time in searching for the fabrics and just playing with the with the pieces to make it look like symmetrical and uh, one thing that I thought it's it's quite big so it's 105 um, centimeters wide or 40 and a half inches so you, if you want to make it smaller just leave um, like one one of those um, stripes out on both ends so you have seven and seven and then then you have uh, like 15 centimeters um, less at the end. and I think that would be big enough for, for a small baby and um, what else can I say about this um, you need also a good iron to iron it together I found it again when I had the pieces together I ironed the back side so that it, so that it was easier to work with it that's all I um, I wish you good good fun with doing it and I'll see you soon again thank you